Hey everyone, I'm back again. So today I'm going to show you a mess load of our atelier boxes um, or subscription bo boxes that I have not filmed. They have been sitting um, on the floor in my craft room and um, I need to get them filmed so that I can go ahead and start using this stuff. So I'm going to try to speed through as much as I can. So here's the first one. This one is, I'm not sure what the theme is here. It looks like it's like a pirate type of theme or shipping kind of theme. Here we go. Hopefully it'll say Age of Discovery. Okay. Now I know I haven't filmed it because the tissue's still intact. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Age of Discovery. Uh, does it say what year? Don't know. What year am I? Okay, first one, the washi. Not going to pull apart because it's probably going to tear. But it is just a map one, and I always love a good, you know, washi map. All right. Um, second one here. These are cards, and they're beautiful. Trying to think of how I would use these. Um, for the collage of the junk journal. I think the only way I would probably use this is if I were to go to Europe. And um, yeah, if I were to go to Europe and if I'm like, let's say, I don't know, Venice or somewhere, Italy, who knows, places like that, um, I could use that, that type of stuff. All right, so what I love, love that Rosie did with her um, vintage ephemera boxes is that she always gave you a ton of little things, right? Um, and for the price, you're getting so much. So I don't know if she's currently still doing them. I looked on her website, but all I saw were like the old boxes. I didn't see her putting out anything new, which is kind of sad. Um, and I don't know if it's because people just weren't buying them. But, you know, the thing is, like, this was such a great deal. Here we go. October... Oh, that's weird. She doesn't have the year. Um, I want to say this might be 2022. <laughs> yeah, this had to be because the 31st was on a Tuesday, I think. Yeah, of last year. I know because I was on vacation um, during that time. But anyways, um, I think it's just a lot of people weren't ordering the boxes and maybe it just wasn't worth it in the end. So I hope she brings them back. I mean, it could be that she just wasn't able to come up with more themes. Um, she did ask me in the past if there was any themes, you know, that I would love to see um, to let her know. And I just, um, just never got around to doing it. I wanted to really give her some good ones, but I just couldn't think of any at the time. So these are what I love. I love that she always includes like these little tags because they come in handy when I'm doing my... Um, junk journaling and collage stuff. So we've got a lot here. I mean, this is a lot. So I was able to exchange shoes. Sorry, that's my sister <laughs> texting me about some shoes that she bought and she was getting, she's exchanging them. Okay. So let's put these back in. I'm going to be, ex I'm excited to use this stuff. More excited than the core create stuff. Okay. In. All right. So we've got that one and we got that. Okay. Wow. She included two um, clear stamps. That's pretty good. So let's do the first one here. So it's really nice. Actually, I'll get closer. Hopefully it'll be in focus. Okay. And then this one. I like the map here. It's really nice. All right. So got even more ephemera. See? Guys, check out her website. It's r.atelier. Um, just type, just do a search because I know it's on Shopify. I don't know the full address. I'll put it in the links um, or in the description below. But um, yeah, like her stuff, you know, is very, very reasonably priced. And the shipping from China is like pretty quick. Um, I mean, I'm in the South, so it tends to take 
for me, it usually takes about two to two and a half weeks for me to get stuff from her. But if you're in the West Coast, you'll get it probably within a week. Um, so I think this is washy as well. Look at that old map. Okay. And then we got a ton of this. Oh, yeah. Printed on glossy, like cardstock, but it's stickers. You know, that's really nice. I like this. Yeah, I'm excited to use it. Not sure when I'm going to put this video up. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get it up within the same week that I've filmed. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because the reason why I got back into doing my junk journaling collage stuff is because my good friend Clarissa's birthday is coming up and I made her some stuff. Uh, usually in the last, for the last three years, I've actually ordered her a, um, our atelier box. Um, but since Rosie's not doing them anymore, I decided, okay, instead of, you know, sending her a box, I'm going to, I'm going to do some stuff for her, craft some stuff. So she will be posting that on her, um, channel and I'll put the link to her channel in the description box. If you don't know who she is, um, I'm pretty sure she will do an unboxing. Uh, so anyways, we've got these and this is like on, it's like on, uh, it's not vellum. It's almost like a tissue type of paper. And she always includes, which I love is this textured paper that she makes herself. I remember she told me that. And then the last thing that we have here, Oh, I thought it was too. Yeah. So looks like it's together. No. Yeah, it is a map. Look at that. So yeah, that is that first box. Okay. Let's get that in. So am I missing anything? I usually like to put these in there as well. Cause I save those. You're too nice to throw away. Okay. All right. First box down. <laughs> Second box. I think I filmed this. This is steampunk. I might have. Yeah, because look at that. It's open. So, yeah. Just look for it in my previous um, R Atelier unboxings. Actually, I'm going to go look at the other stack that I have. Okay. Whoa. What's this? This is another Cora Creates. Oh, I filmed that one. Okay. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I just filmed the Cora Creates one and I'm like, did I forget a box? All right. So we have Letters of Jane Austen. Did I open this? I don't know. This one doesn't have tissue. Okay. So we have here Letters of Jane Austen. Had to get this one. And there we go. First off, a stamp. That's going to be interesting. And then we've got two washies here. Okay. I'm, you know, uh, let me side note here, try to find my washi, um, what do you call them? Uh, sample cards. I found, I just came across them yesterday and now I have no idea where I put them again. But anyways, I'm going to be transferring a lot of them, like this type of washi onto them because I, you know, the rolls take up so much space and, um, the cards or, you know, they don't, and it's just easy for me to be able to put it in my um, little thing that I have all my supplies in. All right, so we've got the cards here, which are always great. Now, I have not actually um, done a junk journal, like in a larger than an A5 size. So I feel that this kind of size will look good in those type of um, junk journals because I've mostly been doing like inserts, in fact, where is it? 
uh, and I'll give you an example. Hold on, let me go and grab it because the one that I had over here is not, I think I moved it. Let me go get it. Okay. So, and I actually grabbed one of the washi cards. So what I was talking about are these things. Okay. These are the washi cards. You probably see them like the sample cards. I got this one, I think from Shein, like two, maybe even three years ago. Um, but they're great. Cause like I said, you can slide them into your travelers notebook, you know, your Hobonichi or whatnot. And, um, you know, you're, cause you're probably just using a little bit at a time. So, but I would like to just go ahead and just transfer a lot of that to these type of things. And then this is what, this is probably the largest size that I do in terms of like, um, you know, collage junk journal. Um, I was able to find a pack of how many are in that pack? 20. I'm looking at it now, 20 of these size envelopes, I mean, envelopes, notebooks. This is an A5 at one of my bin stores. Now a bin store is a Amazon return store. Okay. So when you guys order from Amazon and then you're like, Nope, not working out. You return it. A lot of these store, there's a lot of these local stores that will buy them, buy stuff that's been returned to Amazon, um, by the pallet giant boxes. And then they will sell all that stuff depending on the day. So like when I had bought that, big bag of that I'm looking at right now of these notebooks, right? There are 20 of them. I got that for seven bucks. Yeah. So anyways, um, yeah, see how it's clear. And I like to, you know, I like to just collage junk journal in them. And this one I just did recently, actually, I finished this one last night, the cover. So yeah, so you can kind of see, um, how it turned out. So, Let's go through the rest of this. So anyways, um, here is all of the ephemera. Oh, this is August's um, box, you know, that she includes. I mean, it's just a lot. And that's what I love about her boxes. See? And you can, as you saw with that cover, that's what I used. It was mostly from um, our atelier. Okay? So... I mean, I have, I have been collect, I've been ordering from her since 2020, since the pandemic. And, um, yeah, I've accumulated a lot of boxes. I mean, I went, I've taken a lot of the stuff out of the boxes and put them in the Dollar Tree storage boxes that usually they put out, um, at the beginning of the school year. Actually, there's one across from me. Hold on. Oh, I can't reach it. But, um, yeah, I just like, I'll take this stuff and just dump it in there. That way it's not taking all these little boxes are not taking up space and I can, to you know, totally toss them. But now Rosie like gets all of these images, I think online and then just prints them out. So and she's using really good quality um, paper too, or sticker paper to do it. I mean, gosh, there is a lot in there you can see it's pretty thick. So then we have the stamps. Oh, I like this. These are so nice. And then we also have the various cards where there's some lace. There is um, some textured, um, I don't even know what you call it. And then there's probably this back here is probably washi paper. I'm not going to take it out because it's going to be hard to put back in. And that's probably, yep my sister texting me again. All right. So we're going to put that in there. Move on to the next box. Oh, it's pretty sad how many of these boxes I have that have been sitting here. Uh, no, I know I filmed this one because I remember I was so excited to get this. This was, I think, ancient China. In fact, do I need to, I don't know if I did anything on Chinese New Year. Oh, well, I was in New Orleans for Mardi Gras during Chinese New Year's. Okay. Uh, ooh, actually, 
what this is in it. Did I put it in here? There was something I was looking for and I didn't know if I had it in here. I don't know if I filmed this one. This was, I think I did because it's already been open. <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, I'm still trying to find where I put these sample cards. I had a feeling I'd put it in an art atelier box. Why is it not closing? Okay. I'm sorry, guys, if this is taking so long. I'm trying to power through as much as I can. Okay, that one's open. <laughs> oh, if I don't acknowledge it, it's just going to keep beeping. Okay. Well. Wow. There's actually a lot of text messages I did not open. Okay, there we go. Uh, what's this? Hmm. I don't remember this box. Maybe I did go through it. Yeah, because that has August on there and it's opened. So I did film that. Okay. Hey, it's not going to be that long of a video now. Um, but I got my work cut out for me in terms of going through all of this. What is this? Default market. Oh. Uh oh. Oops. <laughs> I have a core creates here I did not open. Um, forest box. Okay. So I'm just going to go side note here. I have a core create box. I don't want to have to include it in the previous video because I'm, yeah, I've moved on. Anyways. Let's just go ahead and just do it really quickly. So we've got four stickers, flakes. We've got two washies. Wow, this is massive. That's a lot. Usually you don't get that much. This one I know for sure is not a lot. And that was from Shein. But this one, it's beautiful. That's a lot. And then I've got this one here. Ooh, I like this one. Let me focus. Actually, let me get closer. Might have it upside down. Yes, I have it upside down. Oops, and still trying to focus. Okay. And there's a sticker sheet at the bottom there. Okay, we'll go look at that one there. Sweater weather. I kind of wish it was fall again because I love fall. It's my favorite season. Um, so we've got, looks like it's all insects woodland animals these are like postcards um the various types of trees and then fungi <gasps> Ooh, i like this it's really nice and then we've got these two. Ooh, i like this as well this actually was a pretty good box okay so let's get back to our atelier See, that's why I didn't realize what this was because her box was not what didn't come in the usual core create box. And I thought it was, oops, my address. I thought it was um, our atelier because she, no, let me put that over here. She wraps her boxes. Ugh, okay. Let me make sure I don't see any other boxes laying around. Okay. This one is. I don't even know what the theme is. Yeah, I have not opened it because this is still intact. But it looks like I've used the paper. Or did the paper come torn? Might have came torn. Okay, so what do we have here? We have washi. Oh, these are good. It's always good to have like the label type. Am I upside down again? Yes. I'm not going to take it apart because it's probably going to tear on me on camera. Always does. Then we have a block stamp, and I love that she wraps them in the um, old calendar to reuse. And I like these um, type of calendars. Actually, when I was in San Francisco in October, I went to Chinatown with this specific intent on looking for these types of calendars, these paper calendars, and I couldn't find any. <laughs> so, um, what do we have here? And this is what it's, the stamp is. 
Okay. So we have some handmade paper. Don't know why it's torn. Um, we've got various papers here. Got three. Look at that. Three packs. Oh, here we go. This is initially she has the theme on here, but it doesn't say it. Here's the stamps. Hold on. There we go. So that's the stamps. Wow. This one's going to take up a lot of ink to ink up. And then, oh, I like the fact that it says Art Atelier Stationer. Okay. So we have a lot of the ephemera. Okay. I'm not going to take it all out because there we go. That was from March. I don't know why it's spelled like that. Um, here are the cards. And more ephemera. There's just a lot. I mean, I'm not going to go through it all. Oh, there's all the little bits and bobs right there. There's just so much of it. Okay. So that is all of my unopened vintage ephemera boxes, vintage ephemera subscription boxes. Now I have to go and take everything out and um, store it away. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking so forward to it, but I don't have anything else going on tonight. So um, I can watch YouTube while I'm doing that. So I hope everybody is having a great week, a great weekend, and I will see you on the next video. All right. Bye.